Hey, how you doing? Taylor, uh, Sweet Southern Vapes. Got today the Segeli Moonshot RTA and the Segeli 213 Boxmon Dual 18650. I'm using my Purple Irons. Everybody knows them as Purple Irons, so uh, these 40 amp, they work very well. I am going to start off with that. I built this today and it's very it was very uh, okay I wouldn't say very but it was pretty it was like difficult getting the coils in there because the build deck is not attached to the base right here so it's not held in place whenever I try to put the coils in now whenever I got the coils in place and I got it wicked up which you want to use a lot of cotton in this because these pinholes that you see right there there's four of them all around you want to put your cotton basically inside those holes so whenever you're using it that basically like the coil in the standard tanks that you get with the, the coil pre-made already uh, it soaks up the juice uh, if you get not enough cotton in there your juice will overflow into the airflow and that's not good it will leak all over your mod here like I so discovered myself earlier um, the good things about this RDA or RTA sorry uh, the build deck is very big I love the build deck um, it's very roomy I fit two dual Clapton's wrapped five wraps two millimeter uh, I think I used 28 gauge with 32 gauge very good, very roomy. Um, two posts, so I was able to spread them out. Uh, let's see, the you got this outer locking ring. This ring comes off the base, and that's what holds the deck itself in place. So whenever you take this locking ring off, which I'm not going to because uh, the cotton, the way it is, it's it's hard to take off this locking ring, unless I'm going to rewick, which I'm not going to. I just did before I left the shop. Um, it's uh, it holds the build deck in place, which is good. It, I like that. Um, this is your Pyrex, you know, of course, your tank. Now, this is a top fill, and I like that a lot. The only thing that I don't like about the top fill is that the top cap right here is very, very thin, so it's hard to get your fingers on without either twisting this top base or you know just twisting the whole RTA itself if you tighten it too much but it's very I like that it's top fill it's only two mils which I mean you may not think that's much but this is supposed to be the size of a dripper the dripper is uh, the top hat it's about the same size um, now the airflow airflow is massive whenever you take out the build deck and you look at it uh, it's got two holes where you put your coils over and it's those are just perfect. Like the way that Segeli did that was amazing. It uh, for a tank, this really is just good with clouds. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put some juice in here, show you how she vapes. Now, while I'm doing that, the 213. This is a very good mod. I like it a lot. It uh, shows promise with the 218650s. It uh has a very clean LCD display very clean I don't know can't tell if that's upside down sorry but the uh, it's very clean if you see it in person it's just nice clean black with white lettering like the other Segelis are and uh, this goes up to a max of 213 watts and that's a lot of power you know you may not ever need that or you may want to just try it one time um, if you do, let me know how it goes. That might be something fun to try sometime with a very low build. Um, I'm not sure how low this goes. I, it's in the book somewhere. I just can't remember off the top of my head right now. But the uh, this is oming out at a .35 if I'm not mistaken, and it's it's chucking. It's very it's very good. I like it. The I wish it came with interchangeable caps because this thing can get hot if you've just been vaping on it a while which I mean if you're a chain vapor like me it gets pretty hot um, 
Now, granted, I like how small it is. It's very incognito, especially with the box mod itself. I mean, this is only the size of your standard dripper. Plus, this is about the size of maybe two of the IPv D twos put together. I mean, it's not it's not very big at all. Um, I mean, it's this is a great setup. Great setup, if, especially if you're looking for something with a little power or uh, you like to build. Building is fun on here, um, especially if you like a challenge. I mean, it's a little challenging at first, but once you get it down, you get the coils in, centered, burned in, wicked up. It's it's amazing. It's perfect. Um, well, I'm going to vape on her and show you how she does. That's only at 90 watts. I mean, you can bump it up. I've been vaping on this for probably a good solid four or five hours now. It's worked out pretty well so far. Once I got the cotton figured out, the cotton ratio figured out, it, I mean, beautiful. Love it. The, there's not a lot of spit back, which, I mean, you'd expect out of an RTA because you got the coils built right inside there, so you expect the spit back, but there's not a lot of spit back, which is really good. The top fill love love the top fill because i hate having to unscrew you know the whole top turn it upside down you know pour the juice in there that's not that's not fun so you just take off this top cap fill it up boom you're done and to re-wick you just take it all apart and just throw some new cotton in there um definitely would recommend the buy it's very good it's uh pretty i give it a nine out of ten i mean other than the build deck being not attached to the base itself if it was attached to the base out of the base itself i'd give it a 10 out of 10 but it's not but once you get it in again like i said once you put the coils in the coils the the wick and you just put the locking ring on and go with it it's just it's amazing it's perfect you could put a good bit of builds in there because i mean like i said i put two claptons in there and uh, that gives you a lot of room um overall great products love both of them i uh, might see if i can post a video back in another week and uh let you know how the progress is going if i figured anything else new about it if i have i can drop it in the comments section um yeah if you get it just let me know and uh we can exchange some things that we do that we love about this thing um uh, come by it sweet southern vapes we're carrying them uh, got some Killanilla, my favorite. Alright, see you Friday.